One of the questions raised today was how do we control the tempo sync of the LFO? And the LFO control is here at the top and we can change the waveform type and the rate along with the destination by using this button here and the depth we can control here. To do this you won't find it in the Roland JDXI manual. If you download the JDXI parameter guide uh, we can find everything we need about the sync control in the menu. So we need to go diving a little bit. I'm going to Now what I've done here is I've added a lot of depth. I've got the filter selected as the destination point of the LFO. And we can hear now that it's free running. Um, if I were to play a beat, I'm going to put a drum sound on. I'm going to do a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so now I'm just going to select a different part. Okay, now I've sent the filter off crazy, but it's not uh, it, it's not in time with the with the actual tempo itself. Uh, let's turn that off. So to do this, we go into the menu, and we need to go to the tone edit section. Now this is the section that controls all the important aspects of the partials, the different layer of sounds of a tone and it spreads itself across the analog and the digital parts. So we need to look in, in both sections but if we, I'm using the cursor key to the right, I've gone to tone edit as you can see and I've pressed enter. Now I'm going to scroll across and there's quite a few to go through. And if we look in the actual menu, it's in the, in the menu. If we look in the actual parameter guide, uh, the, there are different sections in there. The first is the common. And there's pitch, filter, amp. So that's where we can change the envelope. And now we're on LFO. So here we can change the type of LFO. And if you look here, this corresponds, we're on tone P1, so we're on partial one. But if I change the button on the front panel, the, the wave shape type, you can see it changing here and we can do the same here we can change it from the menu control as well so that's the shape that's the rate and you can see now I'm changing the rate on the front panel so the JDXI has given us that control on the front panel here and now I'm going to tempo sync and it's off so if I turn it to on there's no control by the way to to make that come on 
on the front panel. So we need to turn that on. And that's now on. And that's partial one. So if we go to partial two, and we turn it on there, and three on here, now it should all layer up nicely. Now, that's only on the digital part, because we're on part one. Now, we can jump straight to part two, or the digital part two, and we can see there it's off. So we can, whoops, we can change that there. Partial one, partial two, partial three. So they're on. And we also have the analog, so we can jump straight to it. Uh, I believe and here we can't because the analog is in a different place but using our newfound knowledge we're in tone there's amp there's LFO shape same again we can change this uh, where do we change the shape we change the shape here. Uh, da, 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 da. there we go we can change the shape here uh, there we go, so it's still a front panel control. And there's the rate, again, same again, there we go. So the, the control will work for each part. And we want temp sync on, so now it's on. And the next part of this is of course the, the rate um, in, there we go. And we've got the, diff there's the rate now, we can see it changing. Okay, and there's our different bits. So I'm going to go, I'll, I'll, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to change it from the front panel, but it's a good demonstration that the where the controls are to change this. So I'm going to now exit out of there, which I have done. Now if I put the thing back on, key hold on again now I'm changing the rate so okay and now it's in sync There we go, that's our tempo dealt with. Or should I say the tempo sync dealt with? And if I change the tempo, and there you, this is the, the real test because we can see we've changed the main tempo and the LFO is keeping up. the different wave types determine the, the actual shape that you're going to hear and there we go